things that are splendid about fire. A woman writing a poem by candlelight, two candles, is a splendid picture. Log fire warmth is a lingering, cheek-flushing kiss. The lamp in one's room bestows a most gentle and welcoming light. One's lover is in the doorway. On his robe, golden thread is resplendent, his scabbard gleams silver. One blows on a lamp flame. It does not go out. One blows again. Why will it not go out? He is immortal, divine, holy and infernal. In being born, he destroyed his mother. Now he is everywhere. I see him everywhere, Shonagan. Fields and woodlands burn, houses and bridges and temples. He is everywhere. And in the palace itself? Is he there? He of many forms, many disguises. Ah, ah! <gasps> Shonagon? <laughs> oh, I am sorry, Lord Adenoba. No matter. I wasn't asleep. I was thinking it is nine months. Since you can already left. One cannot control one's nightmares. But do not mention that man to me again. No, nine months since you produced a real poem. Your lists are fine, elegant and amusing, but they're not poems. I never claimed they were, my lord. Sometimes they're very observant, even insightful, but not poems. Of course not, Lord Tadanobu, but recently I've been rather tired, sleepy-headed. Understandable. You've been like a citadel under siege. My lord. Two armies have been camped at your gates for weeks now. Each would be the one to breach your defences. Each manoeuvres and circles around the other and around your graceful walls. And I'm sure those battlements will never flame and fall, since both generals, in their very different ways, are incompetent, unsubtle, and... what might be the word? Silly. Lord Tadanobu is with her. Then she will be with Her Majesty. Possibly for hours. Her Majesty and Her Majesty. Who could choose between them? Yashika. That is... I don't know what it... It might even be blasphemy. Forgive me, Lord Masamitsu, but it is only poetic fancy, no harm. The divine majesty of our Empress and the worldly majesty of her beauty. Hmm. I used the theme in my new poem for her. Make sure no one else sees it. It may be dangerously misread. I think you see danger everywhere. Well, it is everywhere. Even here, in the palace? Why did you leave the palace, my lord, all those years ago? Travel, study, observation. And what you observed made you seek refuge here again? I came here for love. If there's danger in love, all the better. You are young and foolish. I am. After her time with Her Majesty, Lady Shonagan has agreed to meet me. Then why so gloomy? She insists we walk in the garden. It is cold out there. I do so love this season. The trees in their autumn glory, the tangy fragrance. The chilly wind. And to think that just nine months ago this entire garden was under snow. That would be around the time you and the policemen solved those mysterious crimes. <clears throat> you have heard about that, Lord Masamitsu. Oh, indeed. The famous exploits of Lady Shonagon and Lieutenant Yukinari. Your lieutenant, my lady, is not loved and admired by all. What do you mean? Some find him too dogged, uncompromising, too insistent on too much truth. Yes, I can understand that. If you love the autumn so deeply, my lady, why this air of melancholy? That is the nature of the season. So lovely and ever fading away. A sudden gust like that. It is a spirit passing by, rushing to deliver momentous news. A wind as cold as that could bring only news both momentous and bad. Things about autumn that delight? I shall try, Lord Oshika. Or things about autumn that sadden. It is a poet's season. 
It delights and saddens. Forgive me, Lord Oshika. Inspiration seems not to be with me today. Shall I tell you of my inspiration? I was shown a poem of yours. It began, They have taken my music from me. They have taken my verses and wine. That was a long time ago. I thought, this is a true poet and a woman. I might have been a poet once upon a time. Can you guess what I was shown next? As I said, Lord Oshika, inspiration is not with me today. A painting of you. Miniature. Most delicately done. I have it with me still. They are why I am here. The poem and the picture. See? Lord Oshika, this looks nothing like me. I know. Let us tear it to shreds. I was deceived. Now I am blissfully undeceived, and I thank the great god Kagusuchi for the flame he has kindled in my heart. My life here in the palace is, of course, deeply gratifying. It is an honour and a joy to serve his majesty. But I wonder sometimes, sometimes I do wonder. My lord. Might there be some other way I could serve the emperor? Serve our country, all our people? Out there in the... I don't know, something military, perhaps? Some kind of righteous campaign? A fanciful notion, I know, but... Sometimes I almost hear the ancestors. Like a, like a call to arms. What on earth is this? It is a letter. But look at it. It is stained. Oh. Ragged. The shoddiest of paper. Who would dare send such a thing to a lady of your position? Disgraceful. Who would dare? Who indeed? Stained and ragged and of inferior material, it is from him. And what else does he dare? Shunigan, I need to see you once more. Come well guarded. Blacksmith, near Ninaji. Soon, please. Well guarded. Once more. Outrageous. Your lieutenant is a scoundrel. Burn this. I will go to him, my lord. You must not. I must. I cannot see this as wise. The Empress has given me leave to go. But is it wise? Perhaps not, Lord Masamitsu, but he has begged me to go. And if I beg you to stay? My lord. The condition of this letter. Might this not be blood? I think he may be ill. And what if he's deranged? His family are somewhat dubious, are they not? And he asks you to visit him at a blacksmith's. There will be Imperial Guards with me. How many? I'm not sure. Several. Then may I go with you? You have become very dear to me, Shonagon. Oh, I'm being ridiculous. That is my age and well. I'm often lugubrious. And forgive me, Lord Masamitsu, but how many years since you drew that sword of yours, except to polish it? Why should I polish it? Shonagon, I'm going with you, if you insist on this madness. I must. Devotion is an admirable quality, but to a bumpkin policeman... He is an accomplished and intelligent man, as you know, Lord Tadanobu. Shonagon, I must be your companion on this quest. Lord Oshika. Soon you'll have an army with you. These are perilous times. A Lord of Japan welcomes peril. I shall leave now. This room is becoming absurdly overcrowded. Apples too, of course. His Majesty. Apples are essential travelling food. And a small flask of sake. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Ah, the very three men already here. An omen. Shonagon, you are a lady going forth on a quest. Most romantic. I think the Lieutenant may be very ill, Your Majesty. If he is not dead, and not too contagious, bring him here. I admire him very much. He tells good stories. And a lady on such a quest should have a noble companion. It is always so in the ancient tales. I wish it could be me. Your Majesty. Well, someday, maybe. But for now, I have decided it should be one of these three lords. Here, in my hand, I have three twigs, one of which is shorter than the other two. Whoever draws that twig will accompany Shonagon. Your, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. So, gentlemen, choose and let the adventure begin. Ah, 
Are you all right in there, my lady? I'm fine, Lord Oshika. It is one of the Emperor's own carriages. A great honor. His Majesty must indeed be fond of this Yukinari. But how I love to ride. And at the head of Imperial Guards. A god certainly guided my hand at that choosing. Trumpeter, sound again! This is the man. Yes. My lady, the smell. Send in the physician and the priest. I cannot stay in here. Send them in, please, Lord Oshika. Things I remember about this man. He is a, a dangerous, if clumsy, swordsman. His policeman's brain is as sharp as his sword. On his horse, he is a strange combination of warrior and clown. He can be wily, foolhardy, eloquent, tongue-tied. He told me he recognized me, and I him. This recognition made loving fools of us both. Shonagan, oh, thank you. Thank you for sitting with me. I haven't been here all the time. I waited outside in the carriage until they told me you were beginning to wake. The air's fresher out there. They say you will live. I think I might. You took a serious beating. Thrashed, kicked, pummeled and stabbed. And then a fever. Serious enough. The physician found this clutched in your hand. And the amulet. Yes. Of a wild boar. It's a curious thing for you to own. Peasant superstition. It is in honor of and protection against Kagasuchi. Kagasuchi? The god of fire. Shonagan. I think something terrible is coming. And it has to do with fire. Things that are terrible about fire. Our houses are made entirely of wood. Fire may consume them greedily. Even the palace is built from the Blessed Cypress. You hold out your hands to a brazier. The warmth is delight. Move closer, agony moves close. Through an open smithy door you see a blacksmith at work. He is a stunted, bare-shouldered, bronzed and grinning evil god. 